our specific uh, conclusions uh, are that if uh, the world were to go past the point of an increase above pre-industrial temperatures greater than two to two and a half degrees Celsius, we would be in a regime where the danger of intolerable and unmanageable impacts on human well-being would rise very rapidly. Also got a lot of new information and new estimates on the basis of which we can say that not only is the temperature increasing, sea level is increasing, it's getting higher, um, the Arctic region is melting very rapidly, glaciers across the globe are melting very rapidly and um, therefore I, I think the evidence of the human impact on climate change is incontrovertible now and that's why we've said that warming of the climate system is unequivocal. J'invite maintenant la COP à adopter le projet de décision intitulé « Accord de Paris » qui figure dans le document. Je regarde la salle, je vois que la réaction est positive, je n'entends pas d'objection. L'accord de Paris pour le climat est accepté. In my first inaugural address, I committed this country to the tireless task of combating climate change and protecting this planet for future generations. Two weeks ago, in Paris, I said before the world that we needed a strong global agreement to accomplish this goal. An enduring agreement that reduces global carbon pollution and sets the world on a course to a low carbon future. A few hours ago, we succeeded. We came together around the strong agreement the world needed. We met the moment. Today, I'm taking bold action to follow through on that promise. My administration is putting an end to the war on coal. Have clean coal, really clean coal. In order to fulfill my solemn duty to protect America and its citizens, the United States will withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord but begin negotiations to re-enter either the Paris Accord or in really entirely new transaction on terms that are fair to the United States, its businesses, its workers, its people, its taxpayers. So we're getting out.
to focus every inch of our being on climate change. Because if we fail to do so, then all our achievements and progress have been for nothing. And all that will remain of our political leader's legacy will be the greatest failure of human history. And they will be remembered as the greatest villains of all time because they have chosen not to listen and not to act. The consequence of one point degree C of global warming through more extreme weather, rising sea levels, and diminishing Arctic sea ice, among other changes. Again today, uh, we come to you with a new record height. Uh, assessment uh, tells us that uh, CO2 concentrations in 2017 global abundance uh, is 405.5 parts per million. It shows that the window to limit warming to 1.5 degree is narrow, that it will require a net global emissions of carbon dioxide to fall by about 45% by 2030. Every year matters. With approximately 200 countries in the room, it is not easy to find agreement on a deal so specific and so technical. But in these circumstances, every single step forward is a big achievement. And through this package, you have made a thousand little steps forward together. You can feel proud. up here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. Yet you all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet I'm one of the lucky ones. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you! Last century we have seen a rise of about 15 centimeters and the rise in sea level is accelerating and we must uh, understand that this rise in, in mean sea level adds to the surges that are coming from the storms, from the increasing in intensity of hurricanes and, and uh, cyclones. Uh, something that we would understand to be extreme today may become the new normal tomorrow. llegar al acuerdo final, estuvimos tan cerca, pero agradezco todos los esfuerzos y las largas horas por tratar de alcanzarlo, pero claramente no es suficiente. El mundo nos está mirando y espera soluciones concretas mayores por nuestra parte. Have we lost the hope 
no one yes. According to this report, we are, we, we are still having a chance to stop uh, the negative climate trend uh, during the mid uh, uh, of this century by especially limiting the use of fossil fuels and by stopping deforestation. Some changes will continue for centuries and or even thousands of years, like sea level rise, uh, melting of glaciers and shrinking of Arctic uh, sea ice and snow cover. see that there's been a fairly steady increase and uh, last year we estimated that there was 5.6 percent drop in emissions uh, and uh, since the lifetime of carbon dioxide is so long this one year's anomaly in emissions doesn't uh, change the big uh, picture we saw some improvements in air quality uh, the short-lived gases uh, uh, which are affecting air quality uh, we, we, we saw positive uh, evolution there but uh, but uh, now we have returned uh, more or less back to the 2019 emission levels and uh, and there's a likelihood that uh, we would see uh, we would hit the lowest uh, low limit of uh, Paris Agreement uh, 1.5 degrees uh, uh, during the coming f five years and, and, and there's 40 percent uh, chance that one year uh, within the coming five years would be would be only 1.5 degree warmer on temporary basis uh, on permanent basis that may happen happen much uh, later alive now are the generation to come will look at this conference and consider one thing did that number stop rising and start to drop as a result of commitments made here there's every reason to believe that the answer can be yes in my lifetime I've witnessed a terrible decline in yours you could and should witness a wonderful recovery. That desperate hope, ladies and gentlemen, delegates, excellency, is why the world is looking to you and why you are here. Thank you. percent of the world's forest halt and reverse deforestation by 2030 is a great example a great example of the kind of ambition we need and the United States is proud proud to have initiated and supported it but the fact that China trying to assert understandably a new role in the world as a world leader not showing up come on the single most important thing that's gotten the attention of the world is climate everywhere from Iceland to uh, to uh, Australia to uh, you know I mean it, it just is a gigantic issue and they've walked away how do you do that is claim to be able to have any leadership mantle same with Putin and Russia you know uh, 
His tundra is burning. He's in a circum... Literally, the tundra is burning. He has serious, serious climate problems. And uh, he is a uh, mum on the willingness to do anything. I wish that uh, we had managed to preserve the language on coal that was originally agreed. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we do have language on coal on phase down, um, and I don't think anyone uh, at the start of this process would have necessarily expected that that would have been retained, but it has. And I think that is down to the flexibility and the goodwill actually shown by many of the parties here today. We are here today to conduct a funeral ceremony for COPs 1 through 25 and also COP 26 because each of these has been a failure um, and you know we feel that COP 26 is also a failure. The agreements that have been set out are not sufficient to prevent catastrophic global heating according to you know the targets that have been set out by climate scientists and we feel that this is not acceptable. that 1.5 degrees, that goal of restricting the growth in temperatures to 1.5 degrees is still alive. Now the work continues to make that ambition a reality. ALOC is going to keep pushing along with everybody else in the UK government to strengthen the promises made in Glasgow and to make sure that they are delivered and not diluted.